Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Um, today, Hello. we are going to be going over the rest of the labels of Heracles. Um, if you guys want to see more of this face, or this face, <laughs> or see how I did this look, or learn more about Heracles, please do keep on watching. So like we said, we are jumping back into Heracles and his labours. Uh, we're going to be using the Beauty Bay Book of Magic because it got requested and as long as it's not illegal or super expensive, you get what you ask for in this channel. And just a quick um, preface of everything, um, Mum and Dad's dog Pepper is here at the moment, long story. Uh, she is a bit louder in her snoring than Logan, so if you hear her, I apologise, but uh, that's where we're at. And yeah, that's I think everything that I need to tell you guys before we get started. So, quick recap of our pal, Heracles. Um, he is the bastard son of Zeus. Hera, who is Zeus's wife, not his biggest fan, and she decides one day to send him crazy. And as a result of this, unfortunately, in one version Heracles kills his wife and kids, and in another version he just kills his kids. So, that's fun. Um, once he realises what he's done, he prays to Apollo, who tells him to go and, well, his oracle, should I say, tells him to go and serve King Eretheus of Mycenae for 12 years. And Eretheus gives him different jobs to do. Um, like he killed the Hydra, he um, went and caught the bull. If this is your, if you've seen this video first, the other one is on the same playlist as this one. If you want to go and check it out, or if you want a quick refresh more in, in detail refresher of where we're up to because um, this is just a very quick overview so yeah so unfortunately Eutheus decided that killing the Hydra didn't count as a labour because Heracles had help um, So he's still, he's only done three and um, yeah, so he's got a bit of work left to do. So next labour. Eutheus basically tells him to go to King Augeus, again, like I did in my last video not 100% on some of these pronunciations. If I say anything wrong, you know the right way to say it, please correct me. But yeah, um, so he tells Heracles to go to King Augeus and clean out his stables in a day. They match. Um, not a big deal, you think. However, Augeus has the most cattle of anyone in Greece. That's how many he has. A lot. So, do, clearing all that out in a day is pretty difficult. 
almost as difficult as doing a matching eye look on camera. Anyway, so off he goes to Augeus and he asks him to allow him to clear out his stables. Obviously he's like, yes. However, in return, Heracles asks for a tenth of his cattle. To which Augeus thinks, it's never gonna happen. Sure, okay. And then Sorry, Pepper's making noise. Um, so off he goes and he takes Augeus' son with him to watch. And first things first, he tears a hole in one of the walls of the area that holds the stables. And then he does the same on the opposite wall. And then he goes to a um, there's two rivers nearby, so he digs two trenches. Can you see where this is going? Digs two trenches, and the water floods through, clears away all the waste. Done. However. In the meantime, August has found out that Eurystheus is the one that sent Heracles, and he says, "You're not having the reward. I didn't even promise you one. If you don't like it, take it to a judge. And what judge, in their right mind, is going to disagree with the king?" Well, Heracles does take it to a judge and he gets Augeus' son to testify, I guess is the word you would use, that he was actually um, promised the reward and Hercules gets given the castle. However, Augeus is furious at this and tells Heracles and his son to get out of his kingdom. So off they go. His son goes north to live with his aunt so he's alright and Heracles heads back to Messine. However, once again, Euthia says it doesn't count because he got paid for it. Now, no one said that it has to be charity work, but Euthia makes the rules, so it doesn't count. But for all that work, it does not count. Poor Heracles. Not the best time, is he? He keeps getting given these rubbish tasks and then... Euthyus basically finds a way around crediting him for it. Anyway. So, the sixth, technically, fourth one that's being counted, Labour, Heracles has to go and clear a flock of birds that are nesting on a lake near. Let me just double. Let me. Get my mouth to work around this one. It's Stymphalos. That is the pronunciation I'm going with. Yes, yes, it is. And. I can't multitask. I can't think and plan a look and talk at the same time. 
Maybe I should start doing what Missa does and come on with one eye done. Do you guys prefer that or do you like seeing both at once? Let me know. That's got a bit patchy. Okay, sorry. Um, so, Pericles has no idea how he's going to do this because birds aren't the most cooperative at times. And luckily for him, Athena comes to his rescue. And she gives him a pair of crotalas. Again, pronunciation. Not my forte. Um, they are basically like a big pair of castanets and they were um, made by Hephaestus who if we remember rightly is like the blacksmith for the gods. He's the one that creates Zeus's thunderbolts etc etc. Sorry if it looks like I've moved slightly, I had to go and get a drink because apparently talking constantly makes your throat dry. <laughs> anyway, um, so he's got this Grutella and he climbs a nearby mountain and makes a lot of noise and then he basically, basically the birds flew away so he shot at them as they flew away and that was that. Not the most difficult out of the one so far, I'm sure you'll agree. So that's four labours done. Then for the next labour, Heracles had to dispose of the Cretan blo bull words. Can you have to please know I've got straw this time so there'll be no more slurping. I apologise for that. That can't have been nice. Um, so, backstory is there's a king called Minos, and he promised Poseidon, "Whatever you send, I will sacrifice to you." However. Poseidon sent this bull and for whatever reason Minos decided it was too beautiful to kill so he killed another bull instead and tried to pass it off like he could lie to a god I mean come on not his smartest moment so Poseidon was not happy because Minos had broken his promise and so he then made Minos's poor wife fall in love with this bull yeah weird and she has a baby with it that sends into the Minotaur we'll get into that in another video I just wanted to give you guys Bit of a rundown of the situation with this bull. Weird, right? Yeah. Why has this gone so patchy on me? Anyway, um, so yeah, his wife Pacife gives birth to a manator. That gets dealt with at a later date and Heracles tracks down this bull and drives it back to Eurythius who kills it. And that's the end of the bull basically. Like I said the Minotaur we will come back to. I'm sure some people will have heard of that one before. If you haven't, it's an interesting one. And we will be coming back to it. 
a lot of these interlink so um, there will be recurring characters that's why I've sort of planned these in this order like I have a massive plan but yeah there, there is a right reason to my right rhyme to my reason you know what I mean I hope mm. now the next labour Heracles has the joy In the next labour, Heracles has the joy of bringing the man-eating horses that's the thing of Diomedes to Mycenae Why? Don't know That's what Eurystheus decides he wants him to do So, off he goes Um, with a bunch of volunteers to Vistoria across the sea and they together overpower the um, guys who were looking after the mares multitasking, it's, like I said, not my forte um, however the Bistones of Bistoria heard about this and send soldiers to basically attack them so Heracles decides to ask Abderos, a young guy, um, to look after the horses while he goes off and fights. And they beat the Bistones. Bistones? Bistones? However, while all this is happening a man managed to get away from Abderus dragged him and killed him so not fun for him at all yeah in the end um, Heracles manages to kill the king of the Bistones, Diomedes and took the mares back to Eurystheus and he also on his way founded the city of Abdera in memory of Abderas. Once he got back to Mycenae, good old Eurystheus decides to let the horses go. Because uh, all that work was for nothing. The horses then meander about and they end up wandering too close to Mount Olympus where they are then killed and eaten by wild beasts so you gotta feel sorry for Heracles in stuff like this because he's going through all this effort and fighting all these things and all this sort of, and Heracles is just like let it go. But, yeah. That's just my opinion. 
it's not his fault he was born a bastard. So he's brought these mares back, Eurythius has said, no. Nah. And then for the next labour, Eurythius decides he wants Hippolyta's belt. Now those of you who are familiar with Wonder Woman will know who Hippolyta is. If not, she is the Queen of the Amazons. who are a very strong race of people I say people I don't know if they're classed as people I don't think they're human anyway he, want, he decides he wants the belt as a present to his daughter and this was a special belt it was given to Polita as a gift from Ares, the god of war. And she used it to store all her weapons, etc. It was more like um, across a chest rather than a belt belt. But yeah, um, so good old Euthyus decides, I want it, yeah, because he's nice like that, because why not take someone else's gift to give to your daughter. Anyway, Heracles, off he goes. And when he him and his mate sail there they are actually met by Hippolyta who's there like what are you doing here? What, why have you come? so Heracles is honest with her just says basically that he's really sorry but The oracle told me I have to follow Euthyus' instructions and this is what he has instructed me to do. And to her credit, she agrees to give him the belt. I don't know how many other people would do that after they've been given a gift from the gods, but she does. This is really interesting what you guys. Anyway, um, so she just promised to give him the belt. However, our good old friend Hera decides Heracles isn't having a bad enough time with all these ridiculous labours and the loss of his family. She disguises herself as an Amazonian warrior and basically goes between them all and says this guy has come to take Hippolyta away from us. So the Amazonians ain't happy. They don't want the queen taken away. And so they all decide to put on their armour and charge towards Heracles, his ship and his soldiers on horseback. Now, Heracles realises that they're under attack and he then kills Hippolyta, takes her belt, fights the Amazons and then goes back home. 
even though she promised to give him the belt, maybe, I don't know, maybe he just thought that she was lying to him. I don't really know why he decided to kill her, but he did. Because apparently he's not killed enough people yet. You know, between his friend and everyone else that he's had to kill and you know, his family yeah, apparently he's not killed enough people yet so he kills her which is fun I mean, technically it's Hera's fault but so is most of this story well, all of this story, Heather let's get that right Sorry, that's a really loud noise for you guys, I'm sure. Um, yeah. So, he sails back to Racine, gives him the belt. This one he doesn't give away again. Well, he does, he gives it to his daughter, but you know what I mean. He doesn't just go, okay. Because, uh, <laughs> that's all he's done so far with, um, Heracles is hard work. No. That's what we're up to. Just in case you guys want to a more of a close up of what the hell it is I'm doing. On that note, we'll get on to the next labour. Apologies. I'm distracting myself. I don't know why I was surprised, because I do that a lot. So, labour number ten. Eight out of the ones that count, but labour number ten. So, let me find the right brush. Now, Eurytheus then orders um, Heracles to bring him Geryon's cattle. Now, Geryon is the son of Chrysal and Calero. And Chrysal sprung from Medusa's body after she was beheaded. So he's part Gorgon, and um, Calero is the daughter of two titans, so he's got pretty good heritage, um, pretty strong heritage. So I don't think, so between a titan and a Gorgon, I don't think that Gary on something, someone you want to mess with, in my opinion. But still, Hercules has been told it's what you gotta do. Um, so, Geryon has um, a herd of red cattle who is guarded by his brother, Orthus, and a herdsman called Eurition. Eurition? Mm. I know with Eurician because it's easy for me to pronounce. Anyway, um, so Heracles travels to Eurythia, slaying monsters as he goes, as he finds them, and commemorating his journey. Heracles, depending on which version you read, he either splits a mountain in half or he built two mountains and these are called the pillars or gates of Heracles. Apparently a landmark. So 
sorry, concentrating. Not my forte. Nothing's my forte, apparently, according to me today. So, welcome to my channel. Um, so, yeah, when Heracles arrives at Eurythia, he is attacked by Orthus. Because. It is obviously Orthus' job to protect the castle and protect them he tries. Heracles eventually um, kills, kills Orthus and bashes him in the head with his club. And Eurytian for some reason thinks that he can beat Heracles even though Orthus couldn't and basically sees receives the same treatment quick bash to the noggin. However, another herdsman in the area had seen what was happening and told Gary on. So while Heracles is trying to escape with this cattle Garyon attacks him. Which I meant to mention. Garyon is also a three headed creature. So not only is its parentage crazy, he also has three heads. I say parentage. I don't know if you'd class coming out of a dead body parentage. Anyway, Garen attacks him. Hercules fights. Heracles. I was watching Hercules last night. This is why. <laughs> yeah, so Heracles fought back with his arrows, which we all know still have hydro venom on him. And off Heracles goes back to Mycenae. However, on his way back, two sons of Poseidon decide they want the red castle. Why they're so special? I don't know, but they are. Apparently. Um, those are definitely the same shape. Yes, so they try to steal the cattle, and so, as usual, Heracles kills him. He's getting all the good books with these uh, gods, isn't he? Between Hera hating him, um, he's stolen Diana's deer, he's killing Poseidon's kids. Not doing so well. Um, however, at Regim, a bull gets loose, another pesky bull, you know what happens when they get involved, um, he gets loose, swims to Sicily, I'm not quite sure how good of a feat that is because I don't know any where Regium is and um, the word for bull where he um, ends up in Sicily is Italis which is basically the source of Italy's name apparently I mean, there's worse things to name, after, name a country after, I guess. I don't know what, but... Anyway, um, while Heracles is trying to catch this bull again, he... Um,
ends up, the bull ends up, should I say, in Eric's herd. Eric's is a ruler and Heracles basically demands the bull back and um, Eric says no unless you can beat me in a wrestling match which as we know Heracles isn't the easiest to beat is he? no, no he's not and um, he beats him three times in this wrestling match and then he's had enough so he kills him Uh, nice of him. I don't know what else we expected because Heracles seems to be a bit hot headed like that and just killing people that annoy him. So, yeah, that happens, and um, when he finally gathers the herd together, our good friend Hera comes in again, yeah, she sends a, they call it a gadfly, I'm assuming it's some form of pest. This then scattered, makes, a, makes the cattle s scatter. Say that five times faster, I dare you. And Heracles gets really annoyed by this. Obviously doesn't realise that it's Heracles that's doing this to him. Not that she hasn't done enough. And um, he blames his misfortune on the river. Don't know why. But that's what he does. And he decides he's going to fill the river with rocks. Not the brightest tool in the shed. But yeah. And um he takes the cattle back to Eurythius and guess what he does? He doesn't give them away this time, he um, actually sacrifices them. To who? Hera, of all people. Of all people. Again, it's not really um, explained how much Heracles knows that these misfortunes are from Hera. You'd think Zeus would know. Ask her to leave his son alone, but um apparently not. So that was the technically tenth labour. Eight out of the ones that Eurythius is counting. And so he demands two more. Being the wonderful person that he is. So he demands that Heracles bring him the golden apples which were a wedding gift from Hera to Zeus yeah it's definitely not going to help the uh, situation but if an oracle's told him You must do what you were told. That's what he does. 
So his first problem is he doesn't actually know where these apples are kept. He um All he knows is that it's in a place called the Secret Garden. Which doesn't sound the easiest thing to find, let's be honest. If it was, I don't think Gordon Apples will stay there for very long. Anyway, um, he's searching for this garden and on his way um, he is stopped by Kiknos, who is the son of Ares, another god, who, if I remember rightly, has helped Heracles out in the past. And, um, I know I don't normally do my base on camera. But um we only got two more labours to go so I thought why not? I'm losing things now. Um along with my train of thought. Yes, so he runs into Kiknos, who demands a fight with him. Like he doesn't know seems doesn't know Heracles is track record but luckily for Kiknos um, the fight was eventually broken up by a thunderbolt clearly um, Zeus doesn't want another of his friend's kids getting murdered by his son I don't want to start this in such a strange way but I have we're here now um, yes so after the fight, off he goes, and he goes to Illyria, and in Illyria he basically grabs hold, like physically grabs hold, of the sea god Nereus. Apparently different to Poseidon because he's been told that Nereus can help him find the secret garden. However, Nereus decides he's not going to tell him because he also probably doesn't want the wrath of Hera or Zeus for that matter. He transforms into all kinds of shapes to escape but is unsuccessful and Heracles gets the information that he needs it's good luck right uh, yeah so he gets the information that he needs and Heracles then runs into Antaeus, son of Poseidon. Doing really well with his uh, offspring. Who, guess what, challenges him to a fight. Apparently these uh, offspring of gods have a bit of a uh, complex and want to fight each other all the time. Maybe it's the competition. Don't know. Anyway. They have a fight and um Antaeus, weirdly enough, to say that he is the son of Poseidon. He um decides well he doesn't decide. Antaeus can get stronger when he's touching the earth which if you ask me is a bit weird for a son of god of the sea but besides the point 
Um, and that's me to decide what they're cards of. I just thought it was a bit strange. I'm dropping things. And um, so he beats him in this wrestling match and continues on. But then another Poseidon's sons called Poseiris decides he wants to sacrifice Heracles. So he captures him, takes him to an altar. Sorry about that. Uh, that's my computer. Yeah, so he captures Heracles and takes him to an altar to be sacrificed. However, Heracles manages to escape and kills Poseidon. I guess this one's justified in my opinion because the Cyrus started it and then Heracles then comes to the rock on Mount Caucasus 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 is a very different place and um, there rests Prometheus, uh, who is chained and being eaten daily. Well, his liver is being eaten daily by either an eagle or a vulture, depending on which version you read. And um, Heracles frees Prometheus, who we will be coming back to at a later date for the full shebang of how we got there. And grateful for being freed because you would be. I mean, you live it eaten and then we grow every day. You'd definitely be grateful for the person that freed you. This looks a little bit crazy. You put a bit too much on. Hi, I'm Heather. I know what I'm doing. So, not me, ever. Um, yes, so grateful for being freed um, Prometheus tells Heracles that the secret to finding the garden and getting the apples is to send Atlas now Atlas is the one responsible for holding up the earth and the sky but he's not very happy about it which I mean if you have to hold things up constantly, I don't think we'd be very happy either. I'm trying to powder this down so it looks a little bit crazy. Yes, so Heracles then goes to Atlas and Atlas very excitedly agrees to go because anything to not have to hold things up so Heracles takes over holding up the earth and sky Atlas comes back with the apples and says that he's going to take him to Eurythius for him and Heracles is like oh sure okay um, but can you take this back for a minute while I go and get some padding for my shoulders Good one, Heracles. Good one. And Atlas is like, okay. And puts the apples down. 
and Ergles being a schmad pants, grabs the apples and runs away, leaving Atlas stuck where he is. So he gives the apples to Eurethius, however, because they are not of earth, they can't stay. So after all that, all of that, Heracles had to give the apples back to the gods to put back in the garden. He's not going back to Atlas, is he? Um, so. Yeah, there's, there's that. So, final, final labour for our poor Heracles. And for your poor, poor guys listening to me waffle on for however long this video ends up being, if you've made it this far, I appreciate the hell out of you. So, final labour. What does Eurythia ask for? Cerberus, the three headed dog that guards the underworld. Not like he's being realistic or anything. So, off Heracles goes and to his credit Hades says sure you can take Cerberus but only if you overpower him with nothing but your own hands no weapons which you know it's not a fair it's not a bad condition because he obviously doesn't expect Heracles to actually do it but he does somehow Heracles manages to overpower Cerberus and take him to Eurythius I guess we can all understand why Eurythius was hiding in his jar, can't we? I mean, if someone manages to kill a Hydra and overpower Cerberus and all that, like, do they be scared of Heracles the minute he found out he's a demigod? But, like, you'd be wanting to see on his good side. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, so Cerberus goes to Eurythius for a bit, but he does get returned to Hades and continues guarding the underworld. And that is the last of the labours. What did we think? I. Uh, I do feel sorry for Heracles, he is also a bit of an idiot, like the whole wine fiasco, just not giving a shit, excuse the language, but yeah. So that is the last of the labours and I'm going to go and finish this. I'll show you guys in a second. So here is the finished look. Here's Peppa, if you guys are wondering. This is what she looks like. This is who you've heard snoring throughout this video. Um, so yes, that is the end of Heracles. Excuse you. Um, we will be going through some of the stuff that we've touched on today in other myths. If you did like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. 
and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one